the many misnomers. The way that Depp's team approached this was based on ignorance of domestic violence. We member her, the not so great lawyer that represented Amber Heard in the defamation trial, and went on live TV to defend the actress. Well, she has just jumped ship on the Amber Heard cruise, and while many would agree that this is a move she should have made a long time ago, her reason for finally jumping ship will utterly shock you, so stick around while I give you the details of how everyone, including Amber's lawyer, has seen the truth about her. Correct. I, I don't think they were fighting fair. And you think absolutely. Amber Heard is, in fact, a survivor of domestic violence? Yes, I, I absolutely believe that. And I know it sounds like she said she believed Amber Heard. But if her most recent move has taught us anything, it's that she has probably never believed a single word about Amber's story from the start, as the lawyer is now reportedly no longer in the employ of Amber Heard. Now, I know this is a pretty shocking story and a lot of you are very interested, so I'll just cut to the chase. The news about Elaine Bredehoff dropping Amber as her client just hit the media just over an hour ago. And according to the reports, Elaine is apparently stepping down and passing the baton to another group of individuals. Speaking of a new group of people, the announcement of Elaine leaving Amber Amber also came with the revelation of Amber's new legal counsel, which are attorneys David L. Axelrod and Jay Ward Brown of Ballard Spar, and they will be stepping in as the actress's lead counsel, while Ben Rottenborn, who is already pretty famous from his appearance in the six-week-long defamation suit, will continue to represent the actress and will serve as the co-counsel with Axelrod. The news does not end there, as the transfer of power in Amber's camp also came with a speech from one of her spokesperson. When it comes to protecting the fundamental right of freedom of speech, we look at the jury's decision, to paraphrase a famous quote, not as the beginning of the end, but merely the end of the beginning. They said on behalf of Amber Heard, they then added, a different court warrants different representation particularly as so much new evidence is now coming to light. This was a pretty abrupt change that no one really saw coming, even though we were already suspecting it from everything that's been happening so far. But no one was completely certain that things would go this way. But then we can't really blame Elaine for following this route because apart from the fact that she probably already knew they would lose the appeal, based on the new pieces of evidence that have come to light, the lawyer has also taken a major blow to her career because of her association with Amber Heard. And that's probably not something you should gamble with. And let's not forget that she couldn't even cover Elaine's fees and it had to be an insurance company. The one that also sued Amber, that had to pay the fees. Think she'll put herself through that in an appeal that is almost a certain loss? I think not. Well, this was pretty big news, and expectedly, it's had the entire social media going absolutely bonkers with different fans giving their hot takes about the subject. One user who was surprised about the change but had other feelings towards it wrote, Thought she was broke, yet a visit to Israel, now hiring a new attorney, I don't blame her there. Who foots these bills? Musk, some other sugar daddy, SMH, this topic is getting old TMZ. Another user with a similar point of view wrote, How is she paying the bills? I would say her career is done. She was only a pretty face on screen before she got her big break from her relationship with Johnny. The trial just showed what a horrible person she is. Well, if the same person that has counseled her all the way to this point thinks she doesn't have a shot at winning the case, then there's a chance that the new counsel is just filling the actress's head with delusions. But regardless, we'll find out soon enough. That's it for now. See you on the next one.